The $5 bill may be the new nickel. I don't know. I was walking in our neighborhood because you can't do much of anything else right now. And we were walking along and in the road was this $5 bill. I looked at it and I was like, do I want to pick that up? <laughs> Obviously I did. It's been sitting on my table for like a week now, so I think we're good. I think it's safe. But yeah, I found a $5 bill on the ground and almost didn't pick it up. Kind of like what you would do with a nickel or a penny, especially uh, these days. But we're going to do a haul, so yes, we got a $5 haul. Oh, and speaking of $5, so Brick World is doing a thing since a lot of their shows are going to be canceled and a lot of this, uh in-person stuff like that is suffering right now, and I hate that for all these shows. I do have a recommendation, though, that their first online venture shouldn't cost $5. It should be free. Let people try it out. And then do multiple shows to charge, because I don't know how you're going to be able to see everything in just six hours with multiple rooms on Zoom and having people waiting. So that's my suggestion, to do multiple things free to begin with, and then pay in a later time, but that, I don't know. I'm not going to be spending that $5 I found on the ground. Um, so we're going to do a haul, and I do not collect Halo, and this is Mega Oh, look, Build Beyond. Build Beyond. So this is not a Mega Construct set. So I haven't had time to do a lot of videos lately. I want to thank the ones who did support me by buying in my BrickLink store. Basically, the only some of the recent videos, the only reason I made them is because somebody bought in my BrickLink store, which you can't do right now because my BrickLink store is closed. But buying Armageddon or End of Times um, this week, uh, the store will reopen. Uh, I did talk to the postal, um, the postmaster at my post office, and she said I could drop stuff off still. Uh, and she would prefer that... Um, this is funny. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is funny. Um, but she said I could drop off packages. So, and most of my packages are like this. This is a BrickLink order, not not Mega Constructs from BrickLink. But I think I don't recall. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Check it out. I got a letter from Country Brickman. This is from Country Brickman. Story says, thank you so much for your order. It really brightened my day to see that I had received an order from you. You, your BrickLink store and YouTube channel are one of the main reasons I started my own BrickLink business. I know that you like to collect vintage Lego, so I throw in, threw in a couple of extras. That's what I saw <laughs> in vintage pieces. May God bless and protect your family in this time of crisis. Also, keep up the good work. Thanks. I really appreciate your business. Sincerely, the Country Brick Man. The Country Brick Man. Thank you, Country Brick Man. I hadn't even seen all of it, but I, I, I knew there was only supposed to be one thing. I only ordered one thing from his store, but he threw in some extras. And this is one of those few times where sometimes you buy on BrickLink and then somebody does something special because they know who you are. We did have that recently with the, um, the uh, translucent brick. But this is what I went to his store to buy. It's in this thing. Am I recording? Yes, I am recording. Thank you, Country. This is what I bought from his store. He's the, he's the only... Well, there's another person that had a similar thing, but it was more... And this was in the ballpark of the price I was willing to pay. Can you guess what it is? As I said, I'm trying to complete, in honor of AT&T, it's the Death Star. Yes. It is the real sticker for Death Star 2, set 10143. I am working on compiling a list of the parts I need. And this actually has, this This is before they made the big tiles. So these are actually, I think, 1 by 8 tiles on these 4 by, what, 12 or 10, 4 by 10 plates. So I'd, I think I already had the 4 by 10 plates and the 1 by 8 tiles, but I didn't have the sticker. So... Nicely applied sticker sheet there. So awesome. Thank you, Country Big Man. But I have the bonus surprise of some vintage pieces that he just threw in there. Oh, you know, I got to start with this. 
the classic pink not bright pink classic pink if, and those that go way back to olden times of youtube when i was first doing hauls which <laughs> almost all of my bricklink orders i would if they if the store carried pink i would buy the pink and i'm not talking about the modern bright pink the old pink and so i was just like any time i'd go to a store if their price was reasonable on the pink so this is somebody that knows me. He knows that I would like the pink. Thank you, Country Brick Man. Look at this. Not your ordinary one by two slope, 45 degree slope. It's one without the, the support on the underneath. That goes to a vintage helicopter. We have dark gray pieces, not new gray. Old brown. And then we got light gray. Were any of these in the set that I needed? Oh, a two by four old gray brick. So these are always great for completing pre-19 I mean pre-2005 sets uh, because they don't make these colors right here. In fact, they don't make any of these. They make this color red, red, but not in this mold. So every piece that is here except for this black hinge, this is the only part that you can currently get and <laughs> everything else is this discontinued and not in that color anymore so thank you country brick man nice surprise the pink is what caught my eye when i opened the box i saw the pink and i was like this has to be somebody that knows who i am thank you thank you thank you you've made my day and uh and otherwise it's been a crazy week had some people on youtube that kind of annoy me i'm not talking about people that make videos or just people that take their time to comment i don't have a lot of time to make videos so and I appreciate suggestions, but unfortunately I can't make the videos that people that every, would like me to make right at this time because I don't have the time. Uh, hopefully we will uh, in the future have more time to make like reviews of vintage sets. All right, so this is, oh no, it's another BrickLink order. Oh, I ordered the wrong pieces. <laughs> He sent me the right stuff, but I ordered the wrong color, which is not a problem. This was supposed to be like um, the dark bluish gray. I ordered dark gray, and that was my fault, but it doesn't matter because I can always use these these parts. And these are black 1 by 8 bricks. For some reason, I did not have these in my store, but now that I, the set that I'm using, I think I got all of them. Yeah, I got all them, so I don't actually need these. And there, are these the right molds? Yes. Well, no, they're not. Not all of them. All right, these are the. This is the part. The last video I was talking about. This is the one I'm looking for. The 10143 Death Star. Unfortunately, some are like this, and it's one of those where the different mold. It doesn't really matter. I can still use it, uh, but I already had a bunch of these. I was trying to get these. I guess it'd help if I put them side by side. So the one on the bottom is the newer mold. You see those two thin things? The one on the top is the old mold. So let's see how many I got. Two, four, five. Actually, uh, all of them are correct. Oh, hey, yeah, all of them are correct except for one. So not bad. Oh, I guess I could zoom back out. That is not bad. And it's, this is one of those that I would never in a million years fault a seller for this. Because look at that. Who's going to be looking at that to see that difference? Uh, but but I was because I wanted to have uh, the part that actually went with the set. So I'm going to set, set those over there. I got my handy dandy list, which uh, we just marked. Oh, and these. These are, um, they had these pretty cheap in their store. Compared to some, it was still like a three dollar and fifty five cent part. Um, not in many sets, so a rare brown, I mean tan uh, hinge plate. So I can take. I only need one. I bought two just in case. So I'm gonna mark that off my list. I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Wait a minute. Count them again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I ordered 14. I got 13. Oh, look, he's got the same problem. 
Sometimes it BrickLink does this. That should be an X. Depends on what your settings are. His says zero. He might be retaining the drawer though. You can choose that. Lately, BrickLink has been doing that on mine, and I don't want it to do that. So 13. It is this part. 32064. So I only need two more in the correct mold. Can you even read that? I can't even read that. Need two more of those. Um, I mark, did I mark off the tan piece? Okay, very good. And I got the sticker sheet. So I'm going to mark the sticker off of my checklist. So these are the parts left. These dark bluish gray. I meant to order. I ordered dark gray. It is, which is okay. Like I said, I can still use those uh, for when I do more vintage sets. But these are the these right here are the ones. I do have an order from Europe coming that has this 4592CO5. I ordered a bunch of them because everybody in Europe has it cheaper than the people in the U.S. So I'm ordering a whole bunch from somebody in Europe. But I don't know if it's going to come anytime soon with uh, the Chima virus going around. But Country Brickman, you made my day. $5 bill. You made my other day. All right. Uh, not really. But uh, anyway, thank you, Country Brick Man. Thanks, everybody, for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. I'll put a link to Country Brick Man in the, in the description. I guess I should mention who the other one was. I'll put a link to that, too, if I remember. It was a small order, but an uh, order that was shipped promptly and securely. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And... When things settle down, hopefully I'll get back to doing like vintage reviews and other things that people actually want to see. Anyway, thank you and see you. Bye.